Alright, this is the fifth video in my Plankerton Endurance Castle series, and in this video we are going to build the defense for Amp B South. And Amp B is my southern amp right there, and this is probably my favorite defense of the entire Endurance. Um, it's because Wave 20 hits this amp, um, and Wave 20 is the Smasher wave, and so when it hits from the south, uh, it's just really satisfying to watch all the smashers fall like dominoes when they try to come through this little trap tunnel. Um, I'll put a clip of it um, at the end of this video. Alright, so why don't we just start off real quick by surrounding the amp itself um, in builds like this right here. Um, and then putting a nuking wall dart with heals attached on each wall. And that's just this wall dart here, with double crit rating, double crit damage, heals attached on all the walls surrounding this amp. Um, and that's because I like to AFK from this little watchtower up here. So sometimes the stragglers from the UFO amp will head this way to try to get to me when I'm U uh, AFKing up here. And also the alien zapper from the UFO will sometimes come this way. So uh, these wall darts will just make sure that all those random little straggler husks get cleaned up when they come this way. All right, so let's get into the build. All right, so let's start off by heading over to the husks spawn. So head down south this way, over here. And this is where all the husks spawn from. All right, so let's first do the block offs and then we'll do the main trap tunnel and then the roof and the lopper shield. All right, so the first block off is right here at this little ramp. We're gonna put a wall with a wall dart, and this wall dart is the extra dura one with crit rating, crit damage, dura, dura, heals attached. And we want a little bit of extra dura on this because it's gonna be firing off into the spawn also. And then on top, we just have a P block. So edited floor like this, edited cone like this. And then up here, up this little ramp, we're gonna like block this off right here so they don't want to come this way over to your camp. So what we're going to do is just have a wall dart here, a wall dart here, and these are my nuking wall darts right here. Double crit rating, double crit damage, heals attached. Because not much is actually going to come up this way, so we don't have to have any extra dura on these. And then we've got wall the wall launcher, wall the wall launcher. These are my standard wall launchers. Triple impact, double reload, heals attached. Then you want to put a floor here just to cover this little ramp. So anything that does come up here is just going to you know, want to go back into our main trap tunnel. And then also it, it prevents them from uh, coming up this way and thinking they can go up this ramp. All right, so that's that floor there. All right, so now um, behind these wall launchers, we've got uh, a cone edited like this, and then another cone on the other one edited like this, and then a wall in between. And there's nothing underneath these cones. So nothing under there, nothing under there. Right? And then we've got a wall and a wall. And a wall right there. Right? And that is this little block up here. And then, uh, okay, so come back down this way, down here, and at this little, you know, like break in the mountain, um, just put a, a wall with a dynamo on it. And it's this one, um, crit rating for damage, damage, reloads, videos attached. Um, edited floor right there, like that. And then a, a ramp like this, right? Um, and I've actually left this ramp open um, because there's no point in blocking it since it just merges with my west defense. Like my west defense will route the husks to this uh, tile right here, and you know they'll try to come up to the amp this way. So there's no reason to block this off. Just let them merge with the other the other trap tunnel. All right. So that's it for block offs. All right. So now let's do the trap tunnel. So again, starting off with a husk spawn, I'll come over to this little ridge right here, and I've got a sound wall right here with um, my standard perks, which is triple dura, double gold reload, 
heels attached right here. And then another of that same sound wall um, right there on the side of this ramp. Okay. And then if you come up the ramp, um, you'll see <laughs> I went a bit overkill with the sound walls uh, because propanes were the only thing giving me issues on this amp. So I just you know, wrapped a ton of sound walls and now the amp is bulletproof. So, okay, so on top of um, this wall, sound wall, um, we have another sound wall and it's just the same one. It's um, triple draw, double gold reload heels attached on the, this one right here. And then right there on the back, I've got this one. So it's triple dura, one gold, one purple reload heels attached for there. And then right here, it's um, triple dura, double reload, one gold, one blue heels attached right there, right? So we've got double gold, one gold, one purple, one gold, one blue right there, okay? And then um, it, it, I just repeat the same thing. So this is the one with double gold reload. This is the one with one gold, one purple, and this is the one with one gold, one blue, right? So we've got all these different timings on the same little tile, everything coming up. And then when we come over here, um, same thing. So um, double gold, and then one gold, one purple right there, okay? Um, and then if you uh, go up against this ridge right there, right here is a sound standard sound wall with the um, double gold reload, triple dura heels attached right there. Um, this is a wall dart with the extra durability, so it's this one. Crit rating, crit damage, dura dura heels attached right there. And then um, this sound wall here and this sound wall here are both um, double gold reload sound walls, just the standard ones, right? Um, triple draw, double gold reload, heels attached right there. Right, so that's for all the sound. Well, I guess I have another one there, but we'll get to that. Um, okay, so these uh, on the the floor right here, here, and here, we have um, floor spikes, and they are this one. So crit rating, crit damage, dura dura, heels attached on these three floors. Um, and then this wall dart here is the extra dura wall dart. So this one, crit rating, crit damage, dura dura, heels attached right there. And then this right here is a wall with uh, a hole edited in it. And this is again, the gold, um, triple dura, double gold reload, heels attached, sound wall right there. Okay. Um, and then let's see, so we're gonna work our way inward this way. So I've got a floor edited like this, um, and I do this because um, it, it it paths the husks like through your um, timeout rooms without having to put like a wall launcher here. So you can have an extra, um, you know, damaging trap, and they'll just path like this, like this, like this. You'll see at the clip at the end that I'll put. All right. So uh, this right here is a wall dart with extra dura so this one green crit damage dura dura is attached um, on the back side of this wall i've got a dynamo with uh, this so crit rating crit damage damage reload speed increased build health right so i have increased build health on this side and heals attached on this side um, and then this is a retractable floor spikes with crit rating crit damage damage crit damage heals attached and then this is an extra dura wall dart again, right? The this one, crit anchor damage dura dura is attached, right there. Um, and then again, same thing. So that same as this wall dart, right here, and it's gonna shoot through that hole and, and you know hit the husks that come up this way. Okay. And then moving inward again, we've got an edited floor like this. Um, and this wall dart right here is a nuking wall dart. So it's uh, this one, double crit rating, double crit damage, heals attached. Because most everything is going to die on these um, tiles here, right? And the only things that may get pretty much past this point are smashers, right? So we've got a nuking wall dart there. We did the edited floor. Okay, so on this side, you want to make sure that, um, you know, in these timeout rooms, you have the broad side on this wall not this wall. If you put the broadside on this wall, 
it will trigger and um, you know just shoot when things come into this tile and by the time they come over here your your broadside is on um, reload so uh, it's kind of annoying and it wastes its durability too so make sure the wall uh, sorry the broadside is on this wall facing you know backwards this way all right and this broadside is just my standard I think hard hitting broadside so it's crit rating crit damage damage re oh it's actually it's not that one it's the one with increased build health so where is it this one crit rating crit damage damage reload speed increased build health right there because we already have a heals attached on that side okay um same retractable floor spike down here crit rating crit damage damage crit damage it's attached um nuking wall dart right there it's the um double crit rating double crit damage heals attached right there and then um a nuking dynamo with heals attached so it's this one double crit rating double crit damage heals attached right there and then we're just gonna repeat the same set of traps that we did right here on this tile right here right so it's the same broadside as there the same nuking wall dart is there, the same retractable force spike is here, and the same nuking dynamo as here. Okay, so just repeat it. Um, and then we've got another edited floor like this. Um, and then this dynamo here is this one, the Sepomax. So it's crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed. Heals attached right there. All right, and then um, I've got one, two, three nuking wall darts right there. It's the double crit rating, double crit damage shields attached on these three. Okay, um, so we did this. All right, so then this floor spike right here is the harder hitting floor spikes. It's crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage shields attached. Don't need extra duret back here. Nothing comes back here except for like the mini boss pretty much. Maybe one smasher will get here. I I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe. Um, all right, so uh, we've we did that dynamo, and this dynamo um, Zap Max, sorry, is the same as this one, right? These are just the same ones, and then on this right here is a um, nuking dynamo, so double creating double damage shields attached on that dynamo right there. Um, two more nuking wall darts right there, double crit rating, double crit damage shields attached wall darts right there, and then on this tile we've got. Um, the retractable floor spikes, same as we did before, creating crit damage, damage, crit damage, shields attached. And then on both of these, we've just got two nuking dynamos. Um, this one, double creating, double crit damage, shields attached. Like, I know for sure the only thing coming back here is the mini boss. So we just want to nuke him down right here. Okay. And that's pretty much it for uh, the trap tunnel. You know, this stuff over here. I'll cover um, when we do the the west defense. So just don't worry about this for now. Okay, so now let's do the roof and the lubber shield. So let's head back over here to the start of your trap tunnel. And right above this sound wall, um, put a, a wall right there, okay? And then, um, so on, t on top of here is where we'll start the roof. So you wanna have, um, you know, uh, floor tile here so one two three four and then we'll have another row of one two three four heading you know back towards the spawn that way and then we'll have another row of one two three four and just leave those two open um, and then we'll have uh, two right here and then a row of one two three one two three Three, one, two, three. Right. If you look down, you should be lined up with your uh, force spike right there. Okay. So that's it for the roof. And then um, head back over to this this corner right here, and we'll do the the lobber shield. Okay. So from here, we've just got you know a ramp right here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five six across um, don't worry about putting don't worry about putting ones there or there they, they don't 
they don't th throw from over here. Right, and then, um, so you know, right up against that starting wall, uh, we're gonna build a uh, ramp, ramp, and then we're at the at the base right here. Okay, and then we're gonna have another ramp, ramp, right. Then we have a, a corner piece right here, and ramp right there, corner piece, and a ramp like that. And then we've got um, ramp here, and then ramp there, ramp here, here, another row here, here, another row here, here, and then right here, just finish it off with um, an edited cone, you know, facing this way. And then uh, don't worry about all this. This will cover in the the west defense. Okay, so um, if you head down your ramps, have two floors right here, right there and there. Okay, and um, this is just always to block the flingers that come down this way. You know, flingers will come down this way trying to get a an angle to throw at your amp. They can't, they can't, they can't, and then they come into this right here and just die. Right. Alright, and uh, this will cover the west defense, so just don't worry about this for now. Okay, so that is it for the lava shield. And now let's do the traps. Alright, so let's just um, head back to the start of the, of the tunnel. Okay, so above Above this tile, this tile, and this one, right? So above those ramps, we've got drop traps. One, two, three of them. And um, they are perched like this. It is this one. Triple dura, double reload. I'm sealing drop traps. Okay, and then when you place them, again, make sure you're facing the amp when you place them and that will make them knock the husks backwards this way, right? Your little muffler should be in that corner when you place them. All right, so that's for those. Um, so these um, ceiling electrics, so here, 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 and here, those are all uh, the high dura ceiling electrics. So they're the ones with 5x dura. So this one, 5x dura on all of those, right? And then once we get into these little rows of two right here, so these are all hard hitting ceiling electrics. You can tell by just looking at the durability. So like these have 181, and then these right here have 121. So these ones are. Uh, this um, crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability. So, so right there, there, and I mean pretty much all of these, all these back here. So we've got two there. We've got um, one, two, three of them there. One other row of three, and then the last row of three. All of these are the hard hitting ceiling electrics, right? Um, because as you know, um, ceiling electrics they hit in like a three by three little area. So anything coming down this this tunnel will get hit by all three of these, all three of these, all three of these. It's yeah, just nukes the crap out of anything coming this way. All right, I think that's about it for this amp. I'll just make sure I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, yeah. All right, and um, I'll put a clip of this um, defense in action um, right after this. All right. If you guys like this content and want to support the channel, please use code Diggy in the Atom Shop. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who has used it. All right, I'll leave a link to my Discord in the description. Um, and that's the best way to get a hold of me if you have any questions on this build. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.